It's like, oh, I'm sophisticated on top, pero look at this asto. Look at this asto, it's fine. <laughs> you feel me? What's up, my baby daddies, and welcome back to my channel. Today I go to home. Even though I don't look like it, I've been very stressed lately. And I know a way to combat that for me is to go shopping. And that's just why I always have so many haul videos because whenever I'm stressed, I just end up at a store or two or three or four. I went to Fala's or Faya's. I went to Burlington's and I went to Ross. I know I changed my channel name to Amara Royale, but that doesn't mean that Amara Royale is still not frugal. I still be finding the deals. I just changed my name so you guys know who I am. And since people already know me for frugal finds, then, you know, they gonna come here anyways. You know, and I don't think that the title of the channel really lured a lot of people in anyways. I'm just cool with being chill on YouTube. I don't know how to explain it, but like that whole genre thing, it's just eh, whatever. But oh yeah, this hair, no y'all gonna ace. I just colored it. I'm editing the video right now. As we speak, as you're watching this, I'm editing the video. So don't even trip, but this hair is angel grace. I'm super excited about the color. And then not only that, the fact that it's not dead, <laughs> it really didn't die after I bleached it. I only bleached it twice, but the process is like the amount of time of bleaching it for four times. Because I did an ombre balayage. So when I did the review for this hair, I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to do and you guys said that you guys wanted it to be ombre. So I was like, okay, I don't wanna just do regular ombre. So I decided to do a, a balayage ombre. It goes from black at the roots to dark brown to a lighter brown to blonde at the tips. So yeah. If y'all like that, just stay tuned and subscribe so y'all can watch that, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the haul because I got a lot of stuff. And as I was shopping, like, I was just like, whew, taking deep breaths because y'all, life is stressful. My birthday is on Wednesday. Today is Monday. My birthday is on Wednesday, October 10th, and I don't have any plans, I'm not doing anything. I have so much stuff to get done, like the day, that day and the day after and the day after that. So I'm not really even like, anyways, it's stressing me out, I'm a little sad y'all, but I'm still going to have fun with y'all in this heart though. Let's start at Fias, cause that's the first place I went to. These are so cute. I left the gym and I was like, I need to go to the Dollar Tree because I wanted to go and get a whole bunch of feminine wipes because when I'm on my period, I love, anyways, I don't just use dry ass tissue. These wipes and the 99 cent store used to have these packs of feminine wipes that were like in a blue pack and like they were really nice and stuff but they don't sell them anymore anyways i went there to go and get those and as i was walking there i saw this place called fias and i used to go there when i was younger because their stuff was like 2.99 3.99 but as i got older i was like i'm not going there anymore for whatever reason i don't know but i was like i'm gonna go there after and see what they got so that's what i did and i spent a hundred dollars there so Obviously, I found some things I like. The first thing I got is this. Well, I already got my fingerprints all over it, but it's just this like plant thing. It's just like a decor piece and it's a cactus and um, I got two of them. They just look like that and obviously they're fake and they're just really cute and they'll be really cute mounted places like on a shelf or something. Like I have like decor shelves around my house and I would just like put these on top of them and I feel like that'll be a cute little touch with the wood and just the color scheme is really nice and minimal and I like that so I don't know where I'm gonna put them now but super happy I got them they were $9.99 so I'm gonna move on to the clothes that I got from Fias go get some popcorn because I got a lot of stuff this is all the stuff I got y'all a lot So I spent $87.59. This is the first thing I picked up because I saw them and they were just so colorful and cute and they're just little poom poom shorts. Super cute. <laughs> Whenever I'm in my house, I don't even like to wear clothes. So when I do wear clothes, I want them to be loose and I want them to be comfortable. And I want it to feel like I'm not really wearing anything because I don't like being restricted, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got these little cute colorful rainbow shorts and they were $2.99, $2.99, y'all. I've been sleeping on fire. I've been sleeping on Fias, okay? Like you go to all these other stores like DDs and stuff like that, and it's rare that you find stuff that's below $3. Like it'll be $3.99, $4.99, $5.99. So we found a place that we gonna say $1 on she. Shoot, that might've been the cheapest thing I got though, let me be honest though. I got two collared t-shirts. These shirts are the reason why I walked into the store, okay? And there's nothing special about these shirts. They're regular men's t-shirts. This one was $3.99, and it's just a blue 
men's t-shirt with the collar on it and it's oversized I think it's a 2x it's a 2x and it just looks like that I don't know why I liked it so much but I got two of them I got it in this color and I got it in this color so I saw them and I was like I'm cutting these into crop tops so that was the main reason why I bought them because I feel like these will be really cute with like high-waisted jeans and if they were crop tops because it's like oh I'm sophisticated on top pero look at this asto look at this asto it's fine <laughs> you feel me? I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it has a little R on it. I don't know what the R stands for. But it doesn't matter because you can't really see it. It's like right there. You can't really see it. So I wasn't really tripping about that. I went ahead and got a gray one. But this isn't the same brand. I feel like the material on this one's a little bit better. And um, this is more like a, um, like a athletic material type fabric. So this one was $5.99. And it's gray. And it looks just like that. It has no design on it. Nothing but I'm cutting that hole into a crop top. <laughs> the next piece I got was for the gym, and I got a lot of like casual, like lounging wear, but this one was super cute, you feel me? A red, just oversized sweater, because I like to wear sweatshirts to the gym because I like to sweat. That's the reason why you go into the gym, right? I just thought this one was cute because it has a V-neck, and so it's just like a cuter sweater than what you would normally get because it's just different. It's not built like a regular sweater, and this was in a size 22 24 and it has like little pockets I can put my phone you know what I'm saying I don't have to carry nothing and that's another reason why I like sweaters at the gym because you can literally put all your stuff inside the little pockets and you know just be running around the gym hands-free this was three dollars I just looked at the receipt and I was like I only have one thing that says $5.99 and that's men's yeah this was actually three dollars even better he didn't even tell me it was cheaper than the price he just Scant that hole I haven't tried any of these things on anything from any of the stores so you guys are gonna see it in the try on portion I guess with um, Fashion Nova being competition with everybody, um, people are stepping their game up. So this is a two-piece set, a tie top, and the pants are like regular pants, like they don't stretch at all, but the back part kind of stretches. So hopefully my butt can fit in this. I don't know if it will. If you pay with credit here, then they return the money back, but if you pay with cash or debit, then you have to get store credit. So I was like, well, I got a credit card, shoot. That's backwards, but I'm cool with that. So I use my credit card, maybe because they ask for your ID when you use your credit card. I got all the last pieces in an extra large. Yeah, this one was $14.99 for a two-piece. The next piece I got, these pants, oh my God. And they're just like trousers, really cute pants. They have like a button on the front, you know, this material. Um, that's really trendy right now. This will be really cute with like a top that has like ruffles on it if it fits You know what I mean, but it's pretty stretchy. I picked up these pants and I was like dang the quality on this is really nice I was like this ain't gonna fit me though. You know, I was looking at the waist and I was like this ain't gonna fit me Then I put my fingers in there and stretched it. I said fashion Nova. Is that you because girl? Yes, these are so cute. They look like they'll be the perfect length for me to wear some cute minimalist sandals where you can strap them around your ankle You know what I mean or I could wear some like you know what I'm saying, some pumps, and put on a blazer and call it real professional. <laughs> I like these pants. I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe, so I'm happy to add those. The last piece is also a two-piece set, and it's the same type of print, but just darker. Like I said, this is really trendy right now, so. It's like sweatpants, sweat pants, because it has like this at the end. I don't know, but just super cute. I'm sure you can wear it high-waisted. It looks like it's meant to be high-waisted because the crotch is pretty long, and then the top has a hood on it, and it's the same exact print, obviously, and it's just like a crop top sweater. So I really like this because obviously we're going into the fall months and that was another reason why I went and got stuff because I live in Vegas and Vegas it's like two complete drastic opposites. So in the summer I wasn't really wearing any clothes and now I'm gonna have to wear clothes with like sleeves and stuff like that. It gets extremely cold so I was just like, yeah, let me go ahead and start buying stuff that are long sleeve and pants so I can have stuff to wear. So that's the end of everything I got from Fayas. And then I went to Burlington's Coat Factory, so we're gonna move on over there. Yeah, I love me some Burlington's. I try not to go in there though, because whenever I go in there, I spend so much money. Like, that's not the plan. The plan is not to spend money, it's to save it. So I spent $161 at Burlington. What is you doing, baby? I bought a pair of shoes, so that helped bump up the amount that I spent. And I was trying to put things back, y'all. I was like, okay, hold these right here, bring those up. She rang them up, I was like, all right, add that one. Okay, you can add that one. Oh, oh I, 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 
wait, just add them all, just add them all. Hurry up so I can get out of here. It was crazy. I couldn't do it. And most of the stuff I was getting were underwears and stuff like that because I don't normally wear underwear. But I don't know. When I'm in the house, I feel like it might be smarter to just have panties instead of having to wear clothes, you know? So I was like, yeah, let me just get some cute panties. So I went ahead and did that. I'm gonna show them to you guys, but I don't think I'm gonna try on my panties. Maybe the bras, because I got some sport bras too. Okay, oh my God, so many intimates. <laughs> They had some cute intimates. Normally I go to like Dee Dee's or Ross to get my underwear, but the last few times I went there, I was just so pissed off. Like, I was like, do you guys not carry underwear anymore? And like all the underwear they carry are like not cotton. It's like that slick, that silky material. I hate that. It just holds all the moisture and cooch. Yeah, I don't like those. I don't know if I wear a 1X or 2X in underwear yet. I was just kind of measuring it by eye. So I got these ones in 2X and it's a three pack of panties with some lace across. And it's just like a cute, like, I don't know, like a boyfriend, I don't know what type of, I don't know what type of panty this is, but it just has like lace up here, got the gray, the pink, and the black. And these were $7.99 for three panties. So that's good. If you go to Victoria's Secret or something, it's more expensive than that. Way more expensive than that. I went ahead and got these Tommy Hilfiger panties um, in black and red. And these ones were $7.99. And as you can see, it just says Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger around the band, which I thought was pretty cute. And these ones are obviously cotton and they look really comfortable. And I got these in a 1X because they looked like they would fit me in a 1X. The next pair i got in a 2x and this is a three pack as well and as you can see it has lace around the leg and around the waist so i thought this was really cute and it comes in red black and gray and i think i like the gray ones best because of the contrast but the other two are just kind of like red and then you see black but it doesn't matter they were 6.99 for a three pack really good price and they look like they're gonna be comfortable and breathable. That's what I'm talking about. Give me them them cotton panties. I don't want that those things that's gonna hold the yeast infections inside. Like, no thank you. The next pair I got, I got them in a 1X because like I said, I was just eyeballing it. These look like they would fit me and these are like the boyfriend shorts or the boy shorts um, type of underwear. And as you can see, it has lace around the rim as well. A little bow on all of them, like contrasting bows. So the black one has a red bow. This has a, a black one and then this one has a red one. As you can see, black, red, and then this one has polka dots. These are so cute. And these are $6.99 for all three. And the next set, which is actually my favorite, and if they have more or different colors, Grab a little bean inside of there. Look at these panties. These are better than Victoria's Secrets. These are like, these are like the cheeky, um, the cheeky type of panties. And I got these in the 1X too, cause like I said, these ones look really stretchy and they look like they would fit me. So I got them in a 1X and I wish I could put these on so y'all could see. Cause I already know this is gonna be cute. These came in burgundy, gray, and black. Oh, just perfect. I don't, I don't have anything else to say about these. Just really cute well-made panties. Y'all better go to Burlington and go get you some. Go to Burlington and go get you some of these panties because if these run out, you're going to be mad. These got to be new because what? These look expensive. Let me see. Do they have the original tag on it? $32. Originally $32 for these three. Go get your she. The Tommy Hilfiger ones are $20. I think those are the only ones. And then these ones were also $32 for three. The other ones didn't have like a regular price. New panties! Your girl got underwear. Yeah, I'm about to go throw out all the panties in my drawer and put those ones in. I'm gonna lay them down all cute. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you guys the sports bras that I have. The first one I got, it says strength on it and it doesn't have a size on it. It just said one size plus size. And this one comes with pads in it, but normally I take the pads out depending on how my chi chi sit inside the bra. I just really like this, the pattern of the bra and then the fact that there's um, like a black and white band around it and it looks really sturdy. It has like a little opening in the back and it's razor cut, so it's a cute bra, good design. The boob space looks like it'll be the perfect amount for me, so we're gonna see how this works. That one was $9.99, so it was kind of expensive for just one bra, but I really like the way it looked. So the next piece that I got was also $9.99, but this came with two. It came with a black one and a white one, and I don't know, I like white sports bras, so I feel like I already have this sports bra, but it came with a gray one, it was gray and white instead of black and white. So I saw these two and I was like, I'm gonna get this one because this is black and white instead of gray and white. The thing I really like about this is the width of the band underneath the bra. So your boobs sit up here and then you have space down here so that you don't have no under boobage, none of that stuff, and it's really comfortable. So I really like these bras. It was $9.99 and then got it in a 2X. 
Then I got these ones. These ones I was trying to put back, but then I was like, they're so cute, and they also have a lot of room down here, so you could wear these like if you're just at home chilling. Like you know, these are just like some real casual bralettes, and it's in like the most casual colors you can get, black and gray. So these ones were $9.99 for two. And as you can see, just super cute bralettes. I'm getting tired of running out of sports bras to wear to the gym. I sweat in them, so I don't like wearing sports bras twice, even though some people wear like regular bras twice. I don't deal with that because I sweat a lot. So I have to get a lot more. And I like the fact that they're spaghetti strap. It's like cuter, daintier. Those are all the sports bras I got. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys the regular bras I got. I got this one. Like I've never gotten a bra that doesn't have like, <laughs> you know, like it's just, I think I only have like one bra like this. I have a bra video. Most of my bras were like regular bras. Everybody always asks me in like my videos what bra are you wearing, blah, 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 because I like to wear strapless bras. But I decided like, I don't know, let me try this out. Let me see, because this looks really cute. And I don't know, I don't know why I bought this. It's just so pretty. It's like, I wear 38 double D, but I got this in a 40 D, which is the sister to, um, uh, 38 double D so this is a 38 double D and I got this cute ask red brazier It's like a this looks like a bralette But it's for underwear and you can tell it's underwear because they normally put like little bows and stuff on underwear But this is really cute and it's red the next piece. I got was Off the clearance rack because Burlington's be taxing on their regular clothes nowadays You need to put your prices back down to where they used to be because you're playing gangs Okay, you're playing gangs this was $5.99, originally $11.99. Like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck, Burlington's? What the heck? This is more for the gym. It's like a sweater. It has these yellow stripes. I mean, I don't know what this pattern is called. I think it's tie-dye. Let me not just be extra. It has the stripes and it has the yellow tie, so I thought this was really cute. I don't see a lot of things these two colors, but these two colors together are really nice. And it was only $5.99, so I got it. But if it was $11.99, I wasn't going to get it. It's not worth that. It's not. This was a 3X. All the clothes I got were off the clearance rack because they was taxing. This was originally $10. Like, why would I buy this for $10? And then how am I gonna get it for $2.99 now? Hmm? This is a cute little gym top. I like to wear high-waisted um, gym leggings, so this will be cute at the gym because it's obviously cropped and it's just like a cute little top. It's stretchy and it's insulated. So you know what I'm saying? I like that. And this was $2.99. How go from $9.99 to $2.99? That's how you know they bump their prices up and they playing gangs. Well, y'all playing gangs at large. I got another clearance rack piece. This was $4.99. This little pum pum shorts. Y'all already know what I like to do with the pum pum shorts. Cute little stay at home, super stretchy. They're in a 3X. I feel like it was a two piece and because the other piece is missing, they just marked this down and they're selling it by itself. So I'm cool with that. And then the last piece I got, it'll be just so cute with some jeans, like a light wash pair of jeans with some booties. Like that'll be really cute. So it's just a pink and white button up top and it has like this little detail where you can like roll it up. So that's the last thing. Oh, that's not the last thing I got from Burlington. I said the best for last, y'all. $6.99 from $12.99, y'all. Why was this $12.99? I don't know what Burlington is thinking. What are you thinking? You're gonna lose all your customers and you're gonna be mad you did it. So just go back to regular, okay? Or maybe like the places where they're getting their stuff from is starting to be more expensive. I heard about that. Last piece I got, y'all. Fudge cakes. You guys tell me these are not super clean. I got these in a size 10 and a half in the men's section. I always go to the men's section for my shoes, but I never thought I would find these there. I saw these and I was like, Ugh. they're probably like $90. You know, even though they're at Burlington's, these are the red, blue, and purple ones, which are normally super expensive because whenever they have colorful ones like this they're like unique and they're hard to find so i don't know how burlington's got these but when i saw them i was like these are coming with me so they were 45 dollars and normally they're like 120 because i was looking at these when i went to the rhodium last year it, it wasn't this color it was literally just red and black it's hard to find the ones that are like candy painted like this like so I'm hyped that I was able to find these and I'm gonna be rocking these all day, every day, y'all. Uh, and they have like this, the sock detail, you know, like the Balenciagas. These are fleek. I wish somebody would step on my shit. These are clean, $45, yeah, 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 yeah. At first I was like, that's expensive. And then I was like, eh, I know how much I was trying to buy them for before. So I wear a size 12 in ladies and those are 10 and a half in men. So it's like a little bit big. All right, so that was the last piece I got from Burlington's. So now we're gonna go on to Ross. I didn't get a lot of stuff from Ross, but 
I spent a pretty penny too there. It's $127. Dang, I spent a lot of money. See, this is what happens when you're stressed, y'all. Don't go shopping when you're stressed. God, some of this stuff is gonna have to go back. Doubt it though, because it looks like I like everything. I just hope some things don't fit so I can just take them back. Cause if everything fit, everything's staying late. I wasn't even shopping for that long. I don't know how I spent that much money. In Ross, I literally had to stop because I was just like, okay, no, there's no reason for everything in here to be this cute. They had some really cute things at Ross and I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy everything. I went to the dresses, like, you know, the dresses, how they have the tall racks. I was going through the dresses and then I was like, all right, let me go look through the clothes. I went through the first rack of shirts and I picked up like four shirts and I was like, I'm, I'm late, I'm going home. You're not about to rob me. I had to leave, I had to stop. It was hard, but I did. I think I got a lot of jumpsuits, come to think of it. The first thing I got is this jumpsuit and it is like this orange color, black and then like yellow and, and white. There's some yellow and white in there, like right there, you see? It has like this little belt detailing on the side so you can cinch your waist. And then it has a zipper going right down the center. So I thought this was really cute and it has adjustable straps. So if you want it to be longer or shorter, you can do that. And I'm probably gonna make them the longest so that way I can get a little bit of cleavage. Y'all know I like my cleavage. And then I got it in an extra large and this was $15.99. So the price is good, but you know me, I like my stuff a little cheaper than that, but it was still good. Ah, it was still good. Most of the stuff I got was around that price range. I cannot believe I came up on those shoes, you guys, like. <laughs> so this was the most expensive piece that I got, and it's just like a shirt, and it has shorts attached to it, and then it has a belt um, that you could tie, so it gives you like that paper bag type of short look, and I mean, it's cute or whatever, but it's not worth $16.99, which is how much it cost. So if I knew that it was that much, I wouldn't have paid for it not at all this one might be going back but I'll show you guys how it looks on so you can see but it's super cute and I got it in an extra large and I wish it was not $16.99 they tripping on that one the next piece I got again another romper and this one is a mamacita romper so it's not the shorter it was $12.99 it's blue and white it's pretty long I hope all of these fit me lengthwise but you know how they be I mean jumpsuit I keep calling them rompers they're jumpsuits sorry these ones will be better if you guys just watch me try them on because I don't know what they're gonna look like. The next thing I got was kind of like this farmer girl outfit. I feel like this would be really cute in the winter with some high knee boots. As you can see, it's really long and the material on it, just feel it. Yeah, feel it. It's so soft. You feel that? Really soft. <laughs> I got this one in a 1X and it was $11.99. It comes with a belt and the color of the belt is just super cute. I really like this whole dress. Hopefully it's long enough to cover my butt. That's the only thing that I'm like worried about with that dress. And this dress was $11.99. The next piece that your girl got was another jumpsuit. And as you can see, this one is just pretty. Look at these colors. Look at these colors, Thanksgiving. Here I come. Thanksgiving, dinner. I'm gonna eat you in this romper. I mean, this jumpsuit. Be some own voice. Uh, y'all, some of y'all peeped in the last video, but like, it's just stuck in my head. I can't. Hopefully it's long enough. I might have to wear it with flats because it doesn't look like the legs will be long enough for me to wear it with heels. It's spaghetti strap and then the straps are adjustable. This jumpsuit was $14.99. The next few pieces are tops. And like I said, I got four tops and I was like, it's time to go. This is the first one I found. I thought this was really cute. Like I said, I like to wear like high-waisted um, gym pants. So this is such a cute little cropped sweater. And actually, is this a medium? Oh, I got it in a large. It was $8.99. And with my little sports bras and how it's going, you know, I want nice, gotta be so cute. I can't wait to wear this. Like, super stretchy and I just know it's gonna be comfortable at the gym, I already know. This is the next piece I picked up and the girl that I was checking out with, she was trying to steal it from me. I was like, no girl, go ahead and put that in my bag cause it's mine. This was $9.99 and I got it in an extra large. So just pretty colors, it has a bell sleeve, it's really deep V, um, and then it has a tie at the back and the back looks like this. So you can tie it at the back and it has like a little peekaboo hole. And I don't know, it's just very well made and really cute. So I went ahead and bought that. Oh my God, I don't know why I love this so much. But it was $11.99. And it's just like, I feel like because it's so casual, but it's it's like my swag, but it also has the casualness of it. I just love this. I love this so much. But anyways, this is what it looks like. A plaid t-shirt, a blue plaid t-shirt, and it has a tie at the waist, and then it also has 
like cuffed sleeves so I was just like oh my god this shirt is so cute and it was $11.99 so that's a little expensive for a top just because of the style and the pattern I was just like I need to have that I feel like I can get a lot of wears out of that and that's the reason why I went ahead and paid $11 for it even though 11 is not a lot y'all already know when I say it's a lot it's a lot for me okay it's a lot for me and the last piece I got just reminds me of Gucci okay Gucci 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 Prada and when I wear this people are gonna think I'm wearing Gucci it was $13.99 and as you can see, because if you wear it the right way, people are going to be like, oh my god, your blouse. They're not even going to call it a shirt, they're going to call it a blouse. Oh my goodness, your blouse is so pretty. It has like this beautiful collar. It's supposed to be like tight on your neck, pretty much like that. And then it has the contrast of the black and the white. And then it has these beautiful roses going all down it. And then it has like a long sleeve bell sleeve. And then on the back, it was just doing too much. Whoever made this shirt was just doing too much, but I loved it. It has buttons going all the way down the back. So it's like open, or I can open the back completely up and you all can just be looking at my back as I walk. So I was just like, yes. And that was the first thing I checked to see if the buttons, if you could take them off and you could. I couldn't leave this. It was $13.99, a little bit expensive, but Gucci would have sold this for 500. Easy, okay? They would have sold this for $500, easy. I'm just so excited about everything I got. So, oh, is that it? I thought I got more stuff than that. But this video has gone on long enough. Make sure you guys check the description box for my social medias because I'm very active on Snapchat and on Instagram. So you guys should go down there and follow me on those. And I ask you guys for your opinions on things as well on Twitter. Whichever social media platform you use the most, make sure you follow me on those because I don't know, YouTube be tripping. So you guys know what's going on because YouTube really do be tripping. If you guys want to know like when I post and stuff like that, because a lot of people are saying that they do have on their bell notifications, but they still don't get notified. So if you guys still want to know when you're getting notified, I've made it my own duty to post when I posted something on my snapchat on my instagram and on my twitter so make sure you guys follow those places if you want to make sure you know when i've posted something whether it's a rant or a haul i'm thinking about doing a rant one week and a haul one week so that way we can kind of even things out and also don't forget i have a vlog channel so go on over there and subscribe so you guys can see what i'm doing throughout my day Okay? I post a vlog weekly so you guys can see what I'm doing within the week. All right? So if you guys love this haul and you guys love me, subscribe, hit the bell, and then, you know, do everything else I told you to do. All right, go out and do wonderful things in the world and make sure no drama comes from anybody but me because I'm your baby mama. And I mean no one. Don't let anyone give you drama and don't let anyone get underneath your skin because I'm going to beat them up. Make sure you tell me happy birthday down below because I'm not doing anything, so that's just gonna make me feel happier than how I feel right now. The reason why I spent so much money on clothes. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Give me a kiss. Smile on my face. Don't give me style. Don't give me grace. Don't give me style. Don't give me grace. Don't put a smile on my face. Don't put the smile on my face. Don't make me shine like the sun. Don't make me shine like the sun.